Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will solve a problem based on locus of a Z. The question is, find the locus of Z in the organ plane if it satisfies the following equation that is mod Z plus 4i plus mod Z minus 4i is equal to 10. So let us go to the solution. So basically we need to consider Z is equal to X plus IY. Then the condition is mod Z plus 4i plus mod Z minus 4i is equal to 10 in place of z replace x plus i y x plus i y plus 4 i plus x plus i y minus 4 i is equal to 10 separate real and imaginary parts inside x plus here i y 4 i take out i common y plus 4 plus x plus i into y minus 4 is equal to 10 okay now it is modulus modulus means what ma root over x square plus y square if z is equal to x plus i y then this is real part imaginary part what is modulus of z and that is root over x square plus y square in the same way here it is real imaginary is this one so square root of x square plus y plus 4 whole square plus square root of x square plus y minus 4 whole square is equal to 10. You suppose if you directly squaring on both sides a square b square then 2ab you will get a complicated value. So that's why better to simplify it keep this value here as it is is equal to 10 minus square root of x square plus y minus 4 whole square now squaring on both sides apply squaring on both sides then so if you square here the square and root will cancel x square plus y plus 4 whole square is equal to here it is in the form of a minus b so a minus b whole square that is a square is 100 b square means square roots cancel y minus 4 whole square minus 2ab means 2 into 10 20 into square root of x square minus y, y minus 4 whole square now you can cancel this x square and x square and expand it first y square plus 16 plus 8y because a square plus b square plus 2ab 100 plus y square plus 16 a minus b whole square this is minus 8y minus 20 into square root of x square plus y minus 4 whole square now you can cancel y square y square and 16 16 now Take this, uh, take this minus 8y to left side. Along with minus 8y, take 100 also left side. That is 8y minus 100 plus 8y is equal to minus 20 into square root of x square plus, yeah. Now, 8y plus 8y, how much? 16y minus 100 it remains same as it is now uh, here to simplify more take out 4 common that is 4y minus 25 is equal to the same thing y minus 4 whole square here can i cancel 4 in 25 times now Again, squaring on both sides. So that is 4y minus 25 whole square is equal to 
x square minus square this now it is a minus b whole square that is 16 y square plus 625 2ab means 2 4 are 8 8 25 is a 200 y is equal to this is 25 minus 5 whole square is 25 into x square plus y minus 4 whole square because square roots will cancel now 25 into expand this again y square plus 16 minus 8y which is nothing but 25x square plus 25y square 25 16 are how much it is uh, 400 minus 200y i think i can cancel minus 200y minus 200y and take all the terms one side that implies 25x square plus 25y square plus 400 minus 16y square minus 625 is equal to 0. Now you can more simplify it by subtracting 25y square minus 16y square. That is 25x square 25 minus 16 it is 9 y square very good 400 minus 625 that is 225 is equal to 0 so 25 x square plus 9 y square is equal to 225 you may leave it or you can more simplify so divide by 225 both sides 25 by 225 x square plus 9 by 225 y square is equal to 1 here this 25 will cancel 9 times that is x square by 9 plus y square by this is 16 is equal to 1 this equation is nothing but locus locus of z but this uh, equation represents an ellipse it represents what ma ellipse that means what the locus of z is an ellipse so this is about this problem next question condition is argument of z minus 1 by z plus 1 is equal to pi by 4 then find locus of z same thing locus of z we need to find for that anyway we know that z is equal to we have to consider z as x plus i y and uh, they are asking what argument of z minus 1 by z plus 1. So first we need to find what is this z minus 1 by z plus 1. Then we will think about argument. First we need to concentrate on this. What is z minus 1? So z means x plus i y minus 1 by x plus i y plus 1 which is equal to real part is x minus 1 plus i y divided by x plus 1 plus i y correct this is z minus 1 by z plus 1 but we need to more simplify it because we need to get in the form of a plus i b so rationalize it by taking denominator that is x multiply and divide by x plus 1 minus i y divided by x plus 1 minus i y now multiply uh, numerator and denominator separately so x minus 1 into x plus 1 how much x square minus 1 because a square minus b square then minus i y into i y into x minus 1 correct multiplying these two then multiply this with i y next again plus i y into x plus 1 and last i y into i y is i square y square minus i square is 1 minus 1 anyway i square y square you just denominator is in the form of a plus i b into a minus i b that is a plus b a minus b is a square minus b square anyway i square value is minus 1 okay here uh, we'll simplify it first Min x square minus 1 
take out i common first multiply these two that is xy plus y here after taking i common minus y remains minus xy minus xy plus y correct okay i square is minus one so plus y square whole divided by x plus one whole square plus y square so this is x square plus y square write all the real parts as a group and imaginary numbers as a group x square plus y square minus one is a real part next plus i into here see plus x y minus x y cancel y plus y is 2 y now separate the denominator also that is x plus 1 whole square plus y square x plus 1 whole square plus y square correct now it is in the form of a something like a plus i b something like a plus i b formula as we know uh, argument of z means is suppose if z is equal to x plus i y what do you mean by argument of z ma? that is tan inverse y by x correct here it is in the form of a plus i b means x plus i y this whole thing is what z minus 1 by z plus 1 correct this is the complex number but we need argument they now argument of argument of given this is given actually argument of z minus 1 by z plus 1 is equal to pi by 4 correct pi by 4 but argument means what now we can write tan inverse that is tan inverse of b by a y by x so that means this is b by a is equal to pi by 4 that implies tan inverse if it come to uh, apply tan inverse tan on both sides indirectly we are applying tan on both sides tan of tan inverse will give you b by a is equal to tan pi by 4 but what is tan pi by 4 1 b by a is equal to 1 means what and b is equal to a that is 2y by what is b 2y by x plus 1 whole square plus y square is equal to x square plus y square minus 1 by x plus 1 whole square plus y square. Now both sides denominator cancel. Take all the terms one side. x square plus y square minus 2y minus 1 is equal to 0 is, is locus of z. Actually this locus is a circular number. So this is a circular equation. So finally, the locus of the given, uh, under the given condition, the locus of Z is, is a circle. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, uh, we will solve some more problems.